Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Two schools that in some ways carry a common heritage. Michigan State and Penn State in the battle for the land grant trophy. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Michigan State is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 23-yard line. Merriman's a kid that loves to play at home. He's good on the road, and he's been really cool over the years playing on the road, but sometimes you get an atmosphere like this, Kirk, and you start to wonder. Well, Brad, that's what makes college football so special. You, you get into some of these atmospheres where the home crowd can definitely be a huge advantage for that home team. Today, I, you know, because of his experience, because of his big playability, and because he's able to stay so calm, I'd be surprised if this crowd really rattled him in this offense today. He's to the 40, brought down right around the 44-yard line. You know, I love this offensive coordinator. I've always really appreciated his approach to the game. He's a little bit unorthodox in his approach, and this time he gives the wide receiver a chance to carry the football to pick up the first down. Nice run to the outside. Penn State's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now. And he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. Here he goes. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. They come out in a five-wide set. Easy, easy. He's taken down at the 24. strike to the receiver he's pushed out of bounds at the 14 yard line and for Maryland he's just set a new high watermark for career passing yards here is he the best quarterback they've ever seen around here you can make a pretty good argument it's first and ten ball on the 14 yard line He scrambled, and he's sacked. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. And they make the stop right around the 22-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Very 
good tackle in space. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Let's check in on some Big 12 action. And for Kansas, they've won two straight. The Jayhawks cruise by 19. Elsewhere, off we go to Mobile. And for South Alabama, on the very last play of the game, they score. South Alabama gets the win for 31. Reese, 3-0 here. They, they line up to the kick this one away. White, to 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 White from the 8. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 33. <laughs> So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Tackle right around the 34. Gain of one yard. That, that brings, brings up, up second, second and nine. nine. From their own 34 yard line, it's second down. quickly and he's got his man he's tackled right around the 40 that makes his third and three looking left finds his fullback i don't know what game plan this offense is running but it might need to be reassessed by this coaching staff The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. It's away. Short punt. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Penn State has a three-point lead. Stop behind the line. Zips it to the back. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. They get four yards on that pass play. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play-action, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at. So make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target to the quarterback. going to do it for the first quarter. We got a good one so far. 3-0, Penn State. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Completely stopped immediately. Game of seven on the play. Third down. Right and left, right and left. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check my Penn State is up by three. Kill, kill, kill. Gets out to around the 32. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now, they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in. But 
They have to finish the job. And the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. Tackled after decent pickup. That's a game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Easy, easy. Run, 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 run. He tackles him for a loss. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. This is the ninth play of this drive. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He's looking for six. Touchdown, Penn State. Wide out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth, and I'm sure they're happy with the result. Tacks on the extra point. So a 10 play, 66 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. Ferguson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's taken down at the 34. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. On the ground, inside. Tackle made at about the 35. That makes it second and eight. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. Caught out in the open. And down he goes around the 44 yard line. And he's taken down at the 47 yard line. Gaining three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 47 yard line. Second down. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That makes it third and three. Here's the halfback on the screen. And they'll get him in the backfield. Davis takes him down for a loss behind the line at the 49-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and five. Two minutes left in the half. Moore awaits the snap. Taken down at the 29-yard line. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail-biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. 
you think about the challenges these two teams are facing on one side you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead and on the other side you've got to find a way to get back in it now he's scrambling decides to tuck it in and he's got space brought down at the 46 good awareness on that scramble there they dropped everybody back in coverage and left enough running room for the big guy to get a first down Steps out of bounds at about the 49. That brings him second and five. From the 49 yard line, second down. And he hits him hard at the 42 yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and 10. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. What a throw for a big gain. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at the 20-yard line. The Nittany Lions call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Here comes the pressure, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. And for Everson, he's having a good year. Five sacks on the season now. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. Fires that quickly, incomplete. This quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things, because that's when mistakes happen. And this play is number eight on the drive. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And he might want it all here, and does! Tipped away. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Running! Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's brought down in the open field. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. They're about four yards away here on second down. So we've played two quarters. The Nittany Lions in front, 10-0. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it, and next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. 
Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. If you're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah, we loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. White fields it at the nine. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Penn State's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, he's just been so conservative so predictable it's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game he's to the 40 that's a great tackle at the 42 from their own 42 yard line first down Carter again He's pushed out of bounds at the 47. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Clipping. Offense. That penalty will move him back a Still bit. Yeah, second. with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. First and long now after the penalty. caught and he's brought down quickly. Barber gains about five yards on the play. Caught with room to work. Tackle at the 43 yard line. down and they need to get it inside the 48. Quick throw. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. He fights forward to about the 40. Gets out to about the 38-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's tackled right around the 20. Nice job here by the quarterback of putting some air underneath this pass and letting his receiver catch up with it for a nice game. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 20. Inside the 10. And they push him out at the one. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Touchdown, MSU.
Here's the extra point to draw within three points. He makes the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Auburn and Georgia do battle in the Deep South's oldest rival. And for Georgia, time running out, getting late in the game. And before time was gone, they score to take the lead. Georgia grabs the victory by a field goal. Thanks, Reese. 10 7 in this one. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the six. Brought down at the 29. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He laterals. He's tackled in the open field. That's a deal. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Penn State holds a field goal lead. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. First down. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Gets to about the 34-yard line. That brings up second and one. And he's tackled after positive yardage. First down. Some open field makes it to the 21. That brings up second and On the catch, and he steps out. So the pass was complete for a gain of five on the play, and that's good enough for a first down. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. He's got room to run. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Penn State is up by three. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. He hits the PAT. A nice 10 play, 70 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The score now 17 7. Ferguson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. White has it at the five, and he makes it out to about the 24 yard line. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. This offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from this quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first.
it loose. So at the end of three, the Nittany Lions in front, 17-7. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Ready! Out of bounds at the 39. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. And he's got it. And he's taken down at the 41 yard line. From the 41 yard line. It's first down. Mike 55, Mike 55. Eat, 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 eat. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a deep That brings him second and five. Here's the eighth play of the series. to his receiver. Tackle made around the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, first down. Nice play to set up first and goal. This is the 10th play of this drive. They'll make the sack. The Nittany Lions thought they had something special in this kid as a pass rusher. He just proved them right. That's the first sack of his career. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Four down, four down. Five 55, five 55. Ready. Ready. The 10, and it's the senior. Brought down at the four yard line. It's third and goal, and they're about four yards out. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. talked about the commitment that this guy has made in practice to make himself a more complete player. He has spent many extra hours catching ball after ball, and right there it paid off. 
They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth. And I'm sure they're happy with the result. And he adds the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Time to get you up to date on what's going on in San Mateo. And for Texas State, they've now won three in a row. And for Fitzpatrick, he went for more than 100 yards in this one. The Bobcats win it, 34-24. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Michigan State kicked this one off. Tackle made at the 36. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. It looks like the defensive tackle fell on the loose ball. What in the heck was the quarterback thinking on that pitch? Why risk a turnover in this kind of situation? When you're a quarterback and you start this close to the end zone, your eyes just light up when you take the field. Conversely, the defense is thinking, uh-oh, we can't let him get another one so quickly. He guns it. And he stays in bounds and he holds in a big one. two and they can smell the end zone a little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter he's in touchdown and they take the lead and that now puts him up by three points as long as they can convert this extra point they will have a four-point game that could prove very significant Splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick two-play, 28-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Oliver fields it at the 11. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. The Nittany Lions battled all game long, but it's not looking so good right now. Well, but remember, they're still within striking distance here. If they can put together a drive, they got a shot to win this game. The offense comes back out, and as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Short over the middle. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back, around it, check back, around it. Oh, easy, push. easy. Flair. Oh, Flair. <laughs> Slings it quickly to his halfback again. And they make the stop at the 39-yard line. That's a game of 15 on the way. First down. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Tough throw on the run and caught. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Just throws this one away. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. First down. Go! 
Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down around the 16-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. He fires right side. Touchdown! And now they're winning this ball game. Merriman's throw was remarkable, and this quarterback we've been talking about all game comes through. Unbelievable throw by an unbelievable talent. We've been talking about this guy all day, and for good reason, and he delivers when his team really needs it. And he misses the extra point. Penn State is lining up to kick this one off. Coker takes it from the six. Tackle at the 22-yard line. The Spartans were really mistaken if they looked at this game as a gimmick. Well, they've been in a dogfight the entire ball game. Let's see what they can do with this final drive. They still have time here to be able to pull out and try to get a win. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Tackle at the 36-yard line. That's good to be in 14 yards. That's good enough for another Michigan State. First down. Under a minute left. Ready. Ready, five, hot. He might not be able to get the pass off. He lets it fly. It's intercepted, and that should do it. He's tackled right around the 40. As a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. You got to be more careful with the football. From their own 40 yard line. First down. Gains his way to the 49 yard line. The delay gave the back some room to run, and he was able to pick up about nine yards. it out to midfield. The defense has got to do a better job at the point of attack. That time they gave up enough of a cushion there to be able to get the offense a first down. They've got to get more aggressive, get lower. If they want to get the football back to their own offense, they've got to step up and not keep giving up these first down. The Spartans using their third and last timeout. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. 23-21, Nittany Lions. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action of this one? Penn State came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.